non-taxable use only. I've never seen anything like that before. So we're here getting some diesel. Diesel's 271.9. Yep. And I can't see how much kerosene is. The regular is 199. But I've never seen this ever in my whole $5, life. Five dollars <laughs> gallon. They sell dry. Uh, what is it? Dyed kerosene. Dyed kerosene. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think it's for farm use for heaters and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen that before. Yep. But I, I don't remember it being green um, handle. Like if I remember, yeah, if I remember right, uh, kerosene was always in a yellow container and yellow uh, hmm. things. So, oh well. live and learn. You see something new every day. Every day. <laughs> All right. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free decided to come to one more place before we leave this nice little town of Kerrville Riverside Nature Center so we're gonna go check it out they're supposed to have from the website it said that they had uh, a butterfly exhibit now whether that's still here or not I'm not really sure but we're gonna go see if we can find it and if they do we will show you guys if we can film so let's take a little walk through their little nature area and gardens That is definitely a cool looking oh, cactus. Really... As all of them, not friendly though. Boy, we sure saw a lot of those coming down the 10, all along the side of the highway. Well, on this side over here, we'll walk up in here, but it looks like the gardens are pretty dormant for this time of year, which I expected. But we'll take a look see up there. This is also the trail that you would um, that you can come to and start the river walk, which is a five mile river walk. And I believe you can ride your bicycles. You can get to the river walk um, in different areas, but this is a good starting point. Yep, you can have and bikes. You, Slow zone. Yep. And you can have dogs on leash, so that's good to know. Yeah, really cool. Wow. Lots to see here. Yeah, this is uh, Kerrville, and I would definitely say stop and check it out if you come through here. Oh, looks like the water got really high. Look at all the branches up there. Yeah, it flooded all the way up here, too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Want to walk down uh, under the bridge? Yeah. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea. <laughs> that tree just didn't want to die. <laughs> Look at that coming right up through the bark. Neat. One thing that's really neat when you're traveling around the country is that uh, you get to see a lot of different trees. 
You know, in Washington, we're so used to just seeing evergreen. Uh, we, of course, we have a lot of different trees too, but we don't get to see all these kind. A lot of them are dormant, but during uh, spring and summer, Aja says that they're they are full bloom. Woo, that's a big one. Look at that. Oh, their river is all dried up. Their little pond. Yeah, I bet in spring and summer this is a really beautiful place to come to. Where's our friend? Oh, at? there goes Aja. <laughs> Dana, Steve, and the children are down at a park down here, so I'm sure that's where Aja is going. We've all kind of split up for the afternoon to go do our own thing and check out our own little sights. And definitely wheelchair friendly, for sure. Look at how the debris just packed up here. They definitely had a flood. Wow. Well, a couple more imprints of different types of uh, birds and animals. Very cute. I always like it when they do that. I think it's cute. Oh, Can I videotape them? Oh, sure. Hi, guys. Girls, boys. One boy, one girl. Oh, hi. Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're so famous. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very cute. I thought maybe you fell in over here. No, I just found a bear can laying in the water. Oh, threw it out of the water? I did. There's a gentleman over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what gets me. Scotty just picked that up, and there's a trash can right there <laughs> where somebody could have just put it in the trash can. Wow. Definitely. Try to come down and take a walk or a stroll through this area. This is absolutely amazing. They've done a beautiful job. Let's see, what do they got? Aquatic wildlife. Yeah, you can really see how the water has come up and flooded. I love being around all the trees. Yeah. I and miss water. Uh, seeing trees. Yep. And the water. Yeah. Side here, back up to the nature center. Well, here's the entrance to the Riverside Nature Center. Yeah, if you got three minutes, 
site maps, sightings blog, and sailing sheet. Oh, check it out. Ooh, that's a big snake. Oh, that's a big snake. That's a little snake. He just did that little walk out there. That was beautiful. We got a nice sunny day for pictures. Oh, it was beautiful. Did you see any birds? No. Did we, a few birds. Here, yeah, we? no, we we seen uh, squirrels. Oh my gosh, is that a little snake? He's a big snake. Look at that snake. Arr. Have you been in before? No, ma'am. I'm from a long ways from away. Washington is it okay if I so film a little snowing? in here? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, we are a nonprofit and dedicated to the native plants of Texas. So our whole botanical garden out here is to local native plants that are uh, resting right now. I know yeah. that we noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we figured as much. But it'll be soon because, well, you never know. We sometimes we get a cold snap in March too. But right. yeah, we're gonna it's cold snap to be at home. This weekend. I know that's what I know. We're just gonna go to San Antonio. <laughs> Down along underneath the little overpass, has that flooded up over that um, bridge? Do we have the, I want to show you a picture. Did we get the? Yeah, I knew. No, I got it. Even sell butterfly things. I have it. Yeah, it was. This is what it looked like. Oh my goodness, sakes. Yep. And when that was whole that? The park was underwater. Wow. When uh, was that? That was uh, October. October. The 8th. The, the okay. Same as what happened down in uh, Junction. Junction. Yeah, that was okay. when people got washed away. Yeah, yeah. that was really sad. sad. We because we get tremendous amounts of water all at once sometimes. Yeah. Um, so incredible. We camped down there last year, and then we were going to camp another. We were going to camp there again, but we decided to come this way. But yeah, yeah that's really sad. Uh, We've got there. a little. Area where like kids down. can one uh, learn about things, even adults. Let's see, we got that. I don't know if you guys gone. can see that or not. I didn't <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, technology, when we have those trees, they'd be out there. I'm not sure what that is. Now, like, you come up and grab them, you know, they're too small. They're so small, they have to climb right down. A neater one. Well, thank you. For well, sure. Oh, Scotty. Look, they have, what is your wish for nature? Write your wish on a leaf and tie it to our wishing tree. Oh, all right. We might have to do that. I'll have to think about my wish mm -hmm. for nature. Oh, we've seen a few of those little critters uh, on the road. Yeah. That one doesn't smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just a nice little place to come. Lots of things for the children to learn, play with. Wood samples of hill country trees. So they change their exhibit out. I'm not sure how often, but um, I don't think the butterflies are here. As a kid, we used to love to count the circles. My dad would cut a tree. My sister and I would sit down and count those, see how old the tree was. Hmm. 
really a nice exhibit. I guess you won't be disappointed on this one. Oh, no, was there one in there? <laughs> Sorry I missed you. <laughs> I'm gone on a short vacation, thank goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this is very interesting. Look at this. If you haven't seen that before, that's actually really interesting. Okay, I'll touch it. Ooh. Oh, oh, please do not tap on glass. I said, I thought it said don't touch this, but yeah. Hmm. He's on vacation. Thank goodness. Oh, because it's hibernation time. Yep. I'm really, it's a corn snake that hibern or that uh, lives in that, but I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would have just walked around. Ooh. This is their classroom. Beautiful classroom, wow. All right, it is past four o'clock. I think we better go find the rest of our group and figure out what we're doing tonight for dinner. Hey, you know what the neatest part about it is? We're not driving right at four o'clock like we have been for a long time. We finally got, ooh! Yeah, I already that. saw it. In a bug. And another one of those things. And a cricket. <laughs> There's all kinds of goodies in there. This is just a great place for a child to come up here and learn about nature. Do you guys have a lot of school class, the classrooms come in to do learning? Yes, we have a, a program for every second grader in the area. And oh. we have workshops on uh, metamorphosis and, and, and uh, decomposers, worms. Wow, that's other great. Words adapt things, and yeah. they spend a whole morning. And then we have some workshops for fourth graders that come through. Yeah, this is a field trip site. Yeah, yeah. this is wonderful. Now the butterfly, when when it, it, they're all gone right now, then it, are usually the butterflies all along in here or something? You've got to have flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Oh. So when the leaves come, then the the butterflies will show up. There might there's probably some chrysalises hidden in the leaves out there. Oh, okay. So once it warms up and they get something to eat, then they'll show Then they'll up. come back. Wonderful. Yay, we love butterflies. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good trip. We yes, will. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so very much. Ooh. Yeah. Look at how big that is. Oh, my goodness sakes. I never want to run into one of those. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is it. We are... Getting on the road. Oop, I took the wrong path. Never. <laughs> we're going to go. It's an open road. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> I would definitely say if you come into Kerrville, this is definitely a place to stop. If you like nature, if you like to take walks, that is definitely a great uh, place to take a walk. And... Oh, they even have, let's see. Oh, I thought maybe that was an, uh, another area, but that's just part of the gardens over there. I bet this place is spectacular in the summer, spring and summer. All right, let's get on the road. Yeah.